<laughs> oh man, yeah, I gotta show this. Bro, hey, I'm sorry, man, but this was one of the worst pictures that you've ever taken. Mine, I'm sure you probably you probably have mine. Oh goodness gracious. See, like, okay, I'm biased because it's me. I don't think it's that bad. I can I can rock with mine. I can rock with it. This one, <laughs> I, you know, I don't even, I don't remember how, uh, how old I was, I probably maybe seven. But yeah, Fort Wayne Sports Club, this is basically, you know, where I started. My dad just wanted us to, you know, uh, be active and, because he was, he's a sports guy, he played football and he played basketball. So, uh, it wasn't, it's nothing, no, you know, crazy story, he just basically said, okay, like, let's try soccer. This is 99-17, this is my first taste of a real team. Yeah, this is, a, this is a good group. And this is when like, you see clothes. You can wear necklaces back then. I had, you know, I was, look, I had two necklaces. I had a gold, <laughs> I had a gold necklace, a gold chain. And uh, I, I, that was like a, it was like an alien ne necklace that I, I had got. So, I mean, that definitely tells you about the time, the, t <laughs> the time when we were playing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I still get, <laughs> I still get so much slack because I'm meeting, you know, Sir Bobby Child and I got on, you know, sweatpants. <laughs> for me, I don't I mean I can't speak for Landon obviously, but for me I was I was surprised. I did think I played well, but I didn't know I played that well to to earn the second best player in the in the tournament. Represent my country, that's I mean I I feel like that's you know, you can't do nothing better than that than represent the country. First gold cup win. This was a, a very cool pitch after a, a, a tough game, tough tournament. I mean, this basically got me to the World Cup. This basically, this tournament. Made a harder decision for Bruce to, you know, to not break me. Kobe Jones, he's blocking it nicely. Landed Donovan, cutting him. Beasley! Goal! Minute 93, and the teenager finishes. Oh yeah, first game, World Cup, Portugal. I was excited, but it was nerve-wracking. I didn't really know what to expect in a World Cup game. You know, and we were playing the, you know, the, the, the favorites to win. Obviously, I was going against Figo and Conceicao and Rui Costa. And the fact that we won the game, you know, being up 3 nothing, no one gave us a chance to win that game. It was great you know, for us as a group, for the fans at home, for anyone that was an American soccer fan to experience and either be there or watch the game on TV. I think that that'll be a game that no one will ever forget. Yeah, man. It's a picture that gives me, you know, uh, frustration as well and happiness. Um, it's all those emotions, not just one emotion, but it's all those emotions, you know, kind of wrapped up together. This game could have changed our lives for, you know, forever. If we would have, yeah, if we would have got to the final four of the World Cup. Oh yeah, this is 2005. I think we, I think we had beat Panama. It is bigger than me, to be honest. And I mean, I, look, you see the guy helping me, like, <laughs> like he's helped me hold it because it was that heavy. Like, I'm glad they kind of downsized a little bit, but yeah, that trophy was, was heavy. I got to go and boot this, uh, this tournament. You know, the old man used to be an attacker. I used to score goals back in the day. That's what I used to do. <laughs> Great team goal. This game was the qualifying for the 2006 World Cup uh, in Columbus, the famous Dos Acero. Uh, this is one of, one of the games, actually, uh, I want people to believe it. We worked on this before, before this game, and it worked out perfectly. And, and I was happy to uh, score against, you know, our biggest rival. Ah, oh, the infamous snow game. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say what I want to say, but <laughs> this game basically cemented my left back position for the next, well, basically my rest of my career. You know, this this was this was the game. It never really hit me until actually I got to Brazil. Um, so I wasn't thinking about you know, being you know, the only um, player to play in four. But in this game, walking out, it didn't cross my mind until after. It was like, okay, it happened, now it's done. Now I'm ready to go into game two. Like, you know, I've, I've never been a person to you know, talk about you know, things and like, any accolades and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I mean, I knew that I was, I was the only player to do it, but literally my mindset was, what are we gonna do next and how are we gonna play and all this kind of stuff. I gave everything to the national team. I wasn't the best player. I wasn't the worst player. 
but my mentality and what I brought to the game was always at a high level. For me, I always want to remember as a person that whatever it took for us to win a game and whatever it took for me to, you know, to do something different that I wasn't accustomed to, I was willing to do it. Those things I think uh, a lot of people will say, maybe not everybody, but <laughs> I think most people will say was when they saw that my name was on the pitch, they know, okay, the beat is on, we know he's gonna break, we know he's gonna give us, we know what he's gonna do, we're, we're fine, we're good, and let's go out and win.